Welcome to this Windows Computer and Technology channel and I will show this because I've been having a lot of people going a little crazy. They've updated to Windows 11, uh, tons of things don't work right and they are uh, kind of wondering what to do and they don't know what to do. There's one thing that is nice is because if you have updated to Windows 11 now, you have a way of going back and that's what I recommend if you have problems, if things are not going right, just roll back to Windows 10 and how do you do that? In your Windows 11, go to the start menu, click on the settings. In the settings, you will actually go into Windows Update on the left side of your screen you have advanced options and in the advanced options you will have a recovery just go here and it says previous version of windows if this version isn't working right uh, try to go back to the previous version so just click go back and it's going to work it's going to do stuff and what you'll know is when you reboot the computer will be back to your Windows 10 operating system. Um, I had so many people ask me, so I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. Uh, there's always the rollback option. If you have just recently moved on to a new system, a new operating system, you can always roll back. Uh, but this has a limited time, which means right now it's going to work. But if you keep Windows 11 and keep updating it, you're going to have a moment where it's not going to work. So it's time to go back if you have problems before we get any new updates and any uh, new uh, information. And for all of those asking, when's the next update? When's the next update? Usually it's once a week, roughly. So uh, today, Wednesday, might be the time we get something new for Windows 11. So keep in touch. If you want to have the details, go to my Windows Insider channel. That's where all of that is happening. That's where I announce when there's a new build. And that's where we really take a look at what is new in Windows 11. That's the place to go. Once again, I'll post the link to my Windows Insider uh, page on uh, the in the description below. And of course, like I said, if you want to go back, don't forget. You just need to go and click the Start button. Click Settings. In the Settings, you will go once again into Windows Update on the left side of your screen. Once you're there, you go to Advanced Options. Go down the screen to Recovery. And here you have Previous Version of Windows. Just click Go Back. And you should be back to Windows 10 with everything working fine like it was before. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching our videos.